What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 111 and today I have a super cool video that I'm excited to show you guys. So this is my new custom AEG build, it is finally complete. This gun's awesome, one of the coolest guns that I've been able to have the opportunity to play with. The Church Up Midget um, did the internals and I will go over those real quick and then I'll hit the externals that I did. So it has an ICS uh, gearbox shell, it has an SHS 12 to ones in it, SHS metal rack piston, SHS sector chip as well, ZCI high torque motor, uh, Matrix M115 spring, BDC Spectre Mark II, which is awesome. I've used a Spectre before in some friends guns and they're awesome and now I finally had the opportunity to buy one when they came out with newer ones um, when he released some more. And then it also has the, the Mark II with the Bluetooth. Shoots 380 FPS and has 25 rounds per second on full auto. Um, let's go ahead and start up with the front. So on the front, I have a Magpul Battle Comp. This is the shorter of the two variants. Um, this is actually not a real one. This is one of the Airsoft Peak fake ones, but they're really cheap and, and they look really good. So I bought one from them. Um, also, I have a Madbull Silver Barrel in there. You can see that it is a silver barrel. Really nice barrel. Um, I love this this shorter length. Like this, I love the 14.5 inch. I kind of wanted a 10.5 upper, um, but 14.5 is the perfect balance between a 16 and a, and a 10.5. Um, it has a ZCI key mod rail system, which you can kind of see. I have a little custom job done on the side of this as well. These are super cheap rail systems, and they're very high quality. Like they're a good rail system for how cheap they are. Um, a little bit hard to mount sometimes on, like just to kind of align all these screws, but. I would definitely recommend it as a rail system. I did a super cool job on the outside of this. You can see I have put paracord in an X pattern. This is a coyote paracord and it's really, really cool. I love this pattern. Um, I don't have any rail segments, so I was like, hey, I should do this. And it's actually a really comfortable grip because I hold it like a C-clamp. So I don't get kind of like any little angle here, um, but it's like, it's very comfortable with these and it helps my grip not to slide. Um, when I'm engaging targets. I'm just gonna shoot it real quick on semi-automatic so you can see the stupid trigger pull. Look at that. So literally, like just super, super cool. Um, sure Shot Midget did his custom eraser job on it to get the shortest trigger pull possible. It's awesome. Um, up top, we have an EOTech 553, I believe. I don't know what brand this is, but it's actually an EOTech that works, which is cool because I've had two EOTechs shot out now. So that's a little bit frustrating. A rando upper. I actually don't know if this is Matrix or GMP, but it's GMP spec and it's kind of beat to trash, but I kind of like that weather look. And then on the lower, I actually have an older GMP Colt lower, which is actually kind of rare. These are a little bit harder to find. Um, and it's cool because it looks more like an actual AR instead of like the flashy, hey, look at like the Crytax. I guess Crytax are kind of um, good too, but like some of those just throw like knights and swords and weapons and stuff, where it's just like, hey, there's a horse. Um, property of the US government, Cal 556, like that's just cool. Um, and I like that. I like exactly how it looks. I have a new PTS grip on this. This is the new enhanced polymer grip. This is the newer generation. I actually got this from Airsoft. Uh, when, they, when Airsoft Blatt was doing their like mega closing sale or whatever, I got this for super cheap. I have a GMP golf ball style stock on it. And in the gun, I am running an 11.1 .1 LiPo. I run these nanotechs. Um, they're 1500 milliamps, I believe. No, 1200 milliamps. Um, they fit in the buffer tube, but 11.1, .1, so it gives me the fastest rate of uh, fire possible. I also have in the inner part, I have a Pro 1 hop-up unit. I have a Promi 6.03 inner barrel as well as a Prometheus purple bucking on it. So it just gets really good range and pretty good consistency. And so I really like that's The most important things to me are accuracy, range, and then crisp trigger pull, AKA, hey, let me pull up, like double shot some people, um, hit them with those double taps because we learned that from Zombieland. Um, really, really cool. I also have something from Airsoft Ballistics, which is really cool. I have an Airsoft Ballistics charging handle that I'm waiting, or not charging handle, dust cover that I'm waiting to put on, and then I have an Airsoft Ballistics charging handle here, which actually has a Psalms verse on it. It says, blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war, my fingers for battle, and then has a cross there, which is kind of cool, because it's like, um, hey, this is the verse, and it's Psalm 144.1, and then also like represents that I'm a Christian, and it's just kind of cool to like throw that on a gun and have it look cooler than just like the standard charging handle but I love this gun. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the semi and full auto. So one of the reasons I love a quick trigger pull is just the fact that I can maybe hit multiple guys really quickly. And the pre-cocking with the BTC is awesome because I can fire two rounds and just double tap guy or hit him with like three. Those like quick bursts are just really, really cool when you can actually hit people. Like just, I mean, those firing like three rounds that quickly just changes the game in Airsoft and because it just, all it has to do is slam the it's just super, super quick cycle speed. Um, 
it just really helps for airsoft for those of you that have slower guns and maybe no for those of you that have faster guns you're like dang like you understand once you start playing airsoft for those of you that are a younger player i definitely look into getting a btc spectrum mosfet if you can find them they're very rare um they're very cool also i just have a straight trigger on this i don't actually know what brand it is um it's one of those straight triggers so it's pretty cool this has been alec mac 101 thanks for watching this video guys i'll see you later